the other issue you know uh, on the petrol and diesel front is the competition commission of india mm. there is an issue i believe about petrol and diesel and the cci is investigating whether there is a price manipulation by at least in the omcs as far as petrol pricing is concerned because that's now a, a de administered mm. commodity yeah. yeah they have also written to you mm. i believe what is your response how do you no, feel i don't know what the issues the cci has raised but the question is that you know if any any anybody can make calculation because after all the margin which uh, you know the everything is borne out by the international price mm -hmm. i'm telling you telling you that okay. when international price rises we have to raise it then you know there is also rupee currency mm -hmm. depreciation or appreciation sure. and it absolutely goes by that this you know there is no question of manipulation there is no scope for manipulation for any company i'll tell you what the cci's <laughs> view point is cci mm -hmm. believes mm -hmm. that they when think that you know they are all doing the same thing similar uniform but the question is you know when you refer to the link it up with the international price and also the currency depreciation or appreciation is it calculation no, i'm just i'm just conveying what i don't think you know any manipulation agreed. can be done no, no i'm just conveying their view point to you cci is a misapprehension which is not correct it absolutely you know they I because they believe when the upward transmission happens because uh, of a spike then the upward transmission of prices happens but when crude softens the downward transmission yeah. isn't that swift no no it is swift you know that is what petroleum we must have seen about two about two, i think a month back we provided two two rupees we are reduced for petroleum mm -hmm. it goes to that you know we are we are acting upon that i don't think there is a difference it is absolutely to be very frank with you you don't see there is any price manipulation from omc no, there is no manipulation at all there is no scope for manipulation have we conveyed this position to the cci that i don't know mm -hmm. i see so the other important point is the cad the finance minister has also referred to this as perhaps now the biggest risk that Which current one? account the current account deficit yeah yeah there are two components one is the gold and i'm not getting into it and the other one is the crude mm. now because of the inelasticity of crude and you have to import crude mm. how do you address this problem is there any way that you know perhaps by raising prices petrol is already deadministered de uh, what about diesel lpg and kerosene because you have to send out scarcity signals to ensure the demand is moderated how do you address this entire cad no, import problem i think uh, the, the petroleum uh, ministry is uh, actually responding to all the wishes of the uh, finance you know number of reforms we have introduced sure and you know the vijay kelkar whatever he has recommended we have already deregulated the bulk purchase, bulk diesel uh, purchase we have implemented it mm -hmm. we have also now 40 to 50 paise we are increasing every month mm -hmm. and within 24 months you know the entire diesel will also be deregulated then you know we are we are prepared to now you know implement the direct cash transfer sure. and the 14 crores of accounts in the, as far as the lpg is concerned we have digitized already so that means if the aadhar and the banks are ready we are also ready with that you know the maybe that when will that happen the entire... 30 to 40% we can save i say but when and will that entire uh, lpg no, no, transfer we are prepared to do it but aadhar and the bank they will have to see the accounts immediate i see yeah. you said that kerosene also sure we are prepared to implement it and okay. in fact uh, the uh, we are acting upon that and in that also you know according to our pilot study you know the about 50 to 60% mm -hmm. can be saved right If all this will come up and you know things will so take, in terms of timeline when will mm -hmm. lpg and kerosene be fully LPG, on the other you know, platform we are we were ready you know by february 15th in uh, to implement few of the districts then in now 15th april also we have set out the date uh -huh. we are ready i think uh, pm will have to convene a meeting of the task force uh -huh. then you know cabinet so that you know the matter could be inter se settled and what about kerosene kerosene also we can implement it but the question is it comes under the pds public distribution system and the government has to take a view you know whether any items under the public distribution system should also come under the aadhar i see now you talked about diesel being deregulated completely in about 14 months so I mean, mm, there is a yeah. fixed quantum by which it increases yeah, yeah, yeah. and it is going according it to it is going mm. but you know uh, the the problem really is if, if crude spikes you know that spike offsets mm. the fixed increase every month to that extent will diesel be truly deregulated it might no, achieve think, market parity no, no, but point. will you deregulate it in principle as, as scheduled by 24 months it will be deregulated completely so you will move to a free market yeah, price yeah, free market price. in 24 months yeah, 24 So in 24 yeah, months that schedule is set and we'll confirm. To so let's say after 24 months, are they free to price diesel as they want? Yeah, yeah. That just like petrol, as the schedule is. Yeah. Okay. Now 
the other important point which is being developed, especially in the U.S., for example, and India is also actively exploring this, is what is the shale gas policy. Yeah, yeah. I know you're taking a note to the cabinet. Yeah, yeah. But having said that, is there any feasibility assessment done in terms of the, you know, the availability. sedimentary availability it of is available. shale gas? It is available. How much? What is the we have, You know, international agency has already made uh, the appropriate study and the sediments and all these things, and we have plenty. We have shale gas available. And of course, we have issues which is distinct from the U.S. issues, like, you know, the U.S., the land, and also the whatever beneath that belongs to the respective landholder. Right. Here, you know, the land may belong to the private, but, you know, the underneath it belongs to the state, mm -hmm. sovereign right. Will it be commercially deployable in terms of price, yeah, in terms of availability? Possible. It's quite possible, and we have a great scope for that, which we need to work. And uh, there was no policy. I am now working out a policy. Maybe within a month or so, the policy will be in place. Once the policy is in place, we will go all out on the war footing to ensure that you know, shale gas you know, potential. But what about the technical expertise? This requires a certain level no, no, of technical. No, no. Do we have that? That will be available. You know, that will be available internationally. And you know, the service providers are available in the international. And we can access to that. There is no problem. Now, given the current state of you know, the India's growth story, even the energy sector, what is what what is the status of NELP 10? What is the state of of the open acreage policy? That I know. 1999, we introduced this NELP system, and you know it ran into problem because you know in fact you know the after the NELP is granted after nine rounds so we are taken place. What happened? You know the defense came in, you know the environment came in with all the. I think this was not the right type of thing. When all these things are clear, I think we should have gone for a bit. That was a difficulty. And that is how, you know, the about 274 blocks were blocked right. because of the defense. Right. Now, you know, fortunately, everything is being clear. Sure. Then another 31 blocks, I'm taking the matter to the cabinet. And, you know, that is being clear. And when, once that is clear, practically the, the defense, you know, has, uh, will reduce the area where, where it is said. So, so NELP 10. Yeah, NELP 10. Now I will go in for NELP 10.